September 8, 2024 The Nativity of Blessed Virgin Mary and Day of the Girl Child A reading from the book of Prophet Micah Thus says the Lord You, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has given birth, then the rest of his brothers shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. And he shall be their peace. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Response, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. As for me, I trust in your merciful love. Let my heart rejoice in your salvation. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren. We know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined he also called, and those whom he called he also justified, and those whom he justified he also glorified. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia Alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving all praise, from you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means, God with us. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection The birth of the child is always a happy event in a family, a clear sign of God's blessing. It is said that each child that comes into the world is a clear proof that God still loves the world. The birth of Mary to her parents Joachim and Anne was surely a God's blessing to them as well as a blessing to the world. So we are to rejoice for this blessing that God bestowed on us through Mary. The reason of our rejoicing today at the birth of Mary is precisely this. God first bestowed on men the gift of the mother of the Savior and the Savior with his gifts would soon follow. Her birth marks the beginning of countless gifts from God to mankind. Here we will see three gifts that we receive on this feast in a special way. One gift of freedom, Christ came to rescue us all from the slavery of sin and of the devil and from the many other types of slavery to which sin had reduced mankind. Perhaps we can find here the reason why Matthew in today's Gospel included the name of those four women among the ancestors of Jesus. Thus with the coming of Jesus, all chains would be broken and all barriers would fail the barrier between Jews and Gentiles, man and woman, slaves and free men are broken. Hence the total freedom is realized. Two gift of holiness, Mary was born without sin. She enjoyed the life in the spirit right from the first moment of her existence. Though we are born without the life in the spirit, we are called to share God's life and holiness on receiving baptism. We have received baptism but are we still maintaining our holiness? Three gift of peace, peace within our own heart, peace with God and peace with our brothers and sisters. Micah was right in saying in today's second reading that Jesus would not only bring peace but that he himself would be our peace in his own person. Hence, Christ is God's gift to man, the final proof of his love for mankind. All other gifts were given by God to man through Jesus Christ. Eventually. Jesus presented us with his greatest treasure on earth, he gave us his own mother to be our mother too. So let us celebrate Mary's birthday with joy.